Welcome back. This is Justin from Books, Bricks, and Boards. Uh, gonna have another solo Sunday. Um, I was going to try a different gear lock as I keep getting uh, crushed with Nugget. But I think after uh, looking at my last video and considering what I could have done differently, I think that my plan of kiting drilling was not a bad one. I just didn't go deep enough into that well. So that being said, I'm gonna give this another shot. Uh, I got my most recent order in from Chip Theory Games, so I now have everything except for the Trove chest, uh, which is not available. And I'm going to try to just build up a really tanky nugget uh, that is going to focus on healing and staying alive and mobility and that's how I'm going to try to defeat Drellin. So uh, we'll see if my theory is correct and if maybe I can make it work this go around. I'm going to play through the lead up to the final encounter and then I will come back and videotape that. All right, I'm back and ready for the final battle. Um, you can kind of see where I am at uh, as far as my build goes. I did have a hiccup in my build. Um, I hadn't wanted to use a skill point on Wildborn because it doesn't really do much for me in this game. Uh, but that prevented me from being able to get lucky. I waited too long to get lucky and didn't have enough skill points to get there. Um, that being said, I've got plenty of dexterity to deal with the uh, requiring of two movement, uh, or two decks for a movement instead of one. I also have dash, which helps me move around. Um, I uh, have my long blade, I bleed, I have uh, bolo. These are all going to be used against Drellin. I've got five sling stones, so I'm planning on killing these guys up front. I placed myself in the corner hoping that I could stay away, but then drew two ranged baddies, so what are you gonna do? Um, still have the six health that I started with because I'm in greenhorn mode, and then I've got up to three defense because my plan is uh, to use my defense and my movement to kite uh, Drellin once I get these two guys out of the way and then bleed him out. Uh, because I don't have the lucky to get a continuous heal, this plan might not work out like I'd hoped it would. Let's roll and see where we're at. Four, so I'm going to go second. That's fine. Because um, Drillin's going to move two. He cannot reach me. So this is okay. Um, so then it's going to be my turn. I've got two attack dice. I need to stay out of Drellin's range. These guys aren't gonna move, so that's gonna be helpful. So if I go one, two, then Drellin cannot get to me next turn. So I'm gonna go one, two, that's four that I've used because it costs double decks. So we're gonna go five. And actually, hmm, I really need to get these guys dead. Um, nope, that's what I'm going to do. So, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to use one sling stone, taking it down to four, to hit this non-adjacent baddie. Okay, so I did two points of damage. That's pretty good. And I did get the result I was looking for on my dash. So I've got extra movement, so I should never have to spend more than two points of dex a turn at any rate uh, for movement. So we're gonna go number three. Uh, he will poison me from range. So I've got a poison one token. This one is gonna do the same thing. He's gonna poison me, but it's still one. So then round two, he's gonna move, one, two. And so that will be his turn. Then I'm going to go, and I get two free move. And I need to make sure I stay out of his range. So what I'm going to do is go one, two for free, 
three, four with dex. I lose one point because of the poison. And then I am going to use one sling stone. So that's two, three decks with this one. Four, five, six, using all my defense dice. So I'm actually targeting him, and I boned it. Oh well. I do have a revitalize now. I also have a disable, which I could use to take away the poison on one of these guys, but it doesn't matter because as long as they're there, I cannot damage this guy. So, um, did not hit him. Oh well. So, he is going to poison me. He's going to do the same, but again, stays the same amount. Drellin's going to go. He cannot reach me. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to spend... Uh, get my free move. Just enough to stay out of Drellin's range. So I'm going to go two stones to try to kill this guy. So that's two dice, three, four. Okay, so I did wind up killing this guy. That's good. I did get a coup de gras. I cannot remember off the top of my head what that does. Place nugget on top of the initiative meter. Ooh, that's kind of good. But, uh, I take a point at the beginning, which means I'm down two, which means I'm going to spend two to gain two hit points back, so I'm back at full. Okay, so then he's going to poison me. The second one will, uh, the second one's not there, so I'm poison one. Um, round four. Drellin's going to go. Drellin's going to go one, two. I get to go. I've got one sling stone left. Uh, actually, I can collect stones. Yeah, I'm going to collect stones to add one to my sling stone dice. And then I'm going to use both of them. So I've still got enough to heal. I take a point uh, for the poison. I get two move for free, so one, two, and then I will spend two more dexterity, three, so that's two dexterity, three, four dexterity, five, six dexterity, yep, I guess I'm just looking for bones on those because I can't keep them, or I could upgrade them to twos, so shooting at this guy with my last two stones, uh, do two damage. It's good because then he is going to die at the beginning of the bleed turns if I don't kill him before then. Um, did get one, two, so I'm going to keep that one just for when Drellin comes up and starts beating on me. And I did screw that up because he's still going to be able to get to me. Okay. Oh, well. Um, and I did... Uh, I already took my damage, I think, because I healed last turn. Oh, but I had a, I had one on me. Yep. So I did need to take that. Okay. Um. Yep. There we go. Uh, round five. Drone's gonna get to go, and he's actually gonna get to hit me. Hopefully, I don't die here. See what happens. 
He's got three attack dice, two defense dice, and his big boy die. Okay. So I block both of his attack dice, his two defense dice. He puts a poison two counter on me, which is fine, because I'm going to start healing. Um, yeah. So, that was his turn. My turn. I'm going to go one, two for free. And then I'm going to use two decks to move to here. So, I am... He cannot get to me next turn. That's good. Um, I'm just afraid I can't survive sitting next to him. Um... Let's think about this. So I take two damage at the beginning from poison. I heal up for two. Yeah, I can't stand next to him. As much as I want to get bleed on him, I just can't do it. Going to have to run. So I'm going to go one, two for free, three, four. Uh, that's two decks, I guess. Three, four dice. And then I'm going to use my bolo aiming at him. He can be a target, I just can't target him with. Attack dice unless I use sling stones. So I'm going to target him with my uh, debuff and hopefully I can slow him down. Okay, um, so two and one and give him negative one attack. Um, no, nope, think I'm going to keep that, not use it. And so now we're in the bleed turns. So, he bleeds. I choose which order they bleed in, so I'm gonna choose him first. He dies. Um, he bleeds. I bleed. Then it is going to be his turn. He's gonna go two, one, two. Um, so I need to go one. Oh, I take a point of damage from the bleed or the poison. Two for free. One, two, three, four decks. And then I am going to uh, Guess I'm going to problem is I need to get to revitalize because I gotta get healing. But at the same time I need to stay out of his range. So I can try to debuff him and make him so he can't ever catch me. But I don't know that that's gonna work. And then I'll really be relying on rolling a bones to stay alive the following turn. <sighs> decisions, decisions. So I'm going to try to roll some bones. Okay. So not totally bad. So. Uh, beginning of the next turn, we each take a point. He moves. Now I gotta roll bones or I die. Or I try to finish him off. Boy, that's really chancy. 
So he can move two for free and still be out of his range. Boy, things do not look good for me because I gotta roll a bones to stay alive until the next turn. But I don't know that I can do four damage to him. Ugh. I don't even know I can do three damage to him. Let's try this instead. Ugh, but then if, if I'm in contact with him, he poisons me. Oh, this is so brutal. Collect stones. Hopefully I can roll a... No, can't do that because I need this. I need the bones for... Jeez. All right, I'm going to go in. Move for free. One, two, dice here. Three, four. Five, six. Oh, this is horrible. Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay. So, I got my bones that I needed. And I would have been better off to be away, given the number of bones that I got. So I gained two life. Which would keep me alive. Except for, he's going to poison me. I do four damage. Two of that gets absorbed. So two damage. If I would have got the bleed, he would have been gone. But, instead... We both bleed at the beginning of the turn. He gets this, these, these. Ah, I think I might have survived. Poison enhancer set any poison die to three on Drellin's target. Awesome, I don't have one on me, so I survived that part. I block. The two attacks. He gets one defense die. Now I have a chance to kill him. I'm going to spend two to heal up again. And I am going to survive this battle with Drellin. Oh, I didn't think that was going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and try to finish out the turn before he bleeds out. And I do two damage. He blocks one of it which is enough to finish the mighty Drellin. Um, so I finally uh, was able to utilize Nugget in a way that was successful against the Tyrant Solo. So Drellin is off my hit list. Hey, it's Justin back. Um, just finished up my battle with the mighty tyrant Drellin using Nugget again. Um, this time I, I still messed up the build, build a little bit. I really um, could have used that lucky die uh, to keep healing myself that extra point every turn and my, my kiting idea would have worked a lot better. Um, that being said, while I didn't have the lucky die, I did have some luck on my side. Uh, because if Drellin would have gotten the poison die result that he needed to kill me, um, I wouldn't have any way to finish him at the end. I would have been dead before it rolled around uh, for him to bleed out the last turn. Um, then again, I had some bad luck too. My, my uh, dagger did not hit, so didn't get the bleed effect on him that I needed to. Um, just, uh, you know, that's, that's why it's called too many bones, because uh, sometimes you roll too many bones and you wind up with some um, unexpected consequences. Um, Drellin, uh, very 
different tyrant to play against. So he has a very limited baddie pool. Um, he only draws from uh, goblins, bog, and beasts, um, which are limited, but they are uh, very specific in what they do. Beasts typically have very high attack dice and initiatives. Um, bog uh, tend to be poison, or you get those uh, really annoying clay golems that break your weapons. And then uh, the goblins uh, have their mischief and um, high initiatives and, and different things like that. A lot of signal in there too, uh, to call in more baddies, which makes it difficult. This, uh, this time I use the um, Age of Tyranny um, days one through three and just randomized each day uh, one through three. Uh, so I got a little bit of variety there. And I added the 40 days in Daylore uh, solo cards. Uh, ended up not taking nearly as long because uh, in, the, in the base game, it seems like all of the solos are uh, combat-based. Uh, I don't know if it was just luck of the draw or what, but uh, my, my draw on these 40-day and Daylore solo cards, um, I think I had three of the seven days that did not have encou uh, combat encounters, which uh, made the game go by a lot quicker, um, which is kind of what I was hoping for today. I don't have a lot of extra time. But uh, as far as my build with uh, Nugget, I don't think it would have worked against a lot of baddies, and I don't think it would be particularly good in a multiplayer game where you're, you're facing uh, hordes of baddies. Uh, but for Solo, uh, being able to dance around and stay out of his range, uh, and then just tank, um, and then debuff them. Uh, my goal was to debuff him with the bolo, make it so he can't move to catch me. Unfortunately, that, that just never worked out. Uh, but the, uh, the dash was incredibly good. Uh, it was surprising how good that, that die ended up being. It, uh, it helped quite a bit. Um, but overall, uh, I would say that, um, Nugget in this matchup, uh, it's definitely workable. And it, if I would have been a better player, it would have been a much easier matchup for me. Um, learn each time I play her, just like any other gear lock. Uh, the dagger is great when it hits, but boy, uh, you can really get yourself into a spot where you've depended on that hitting and you just don't have any other options. Um, the long blade, uh, just very reliable. I do think it's a little bit overrated. Um, it's just a strictly better attack die that also doesn't break against the golems and stuff. Uh, but most of the time it ends up being just one damage. So um, it is what it is. It's great. Uh, you should always take it. It's, it's never going to be one that you don't take. But um, it, it's not a game breaker either. It's, it's just a, a good solid die. Um, just like Nugget, you know. Um, Nugget gets a lot of flack for being um, one of the, uh, the better gear locks and, and kind of easy mode. That's not been my case at all. Uh, Nugget, for whatever reason, has been a struggle for me. I've not been particularly good at playing Nugget. I would much rather play a Patches or a Tantrum or a Picket or a Gilly um, or even a Tink. I, I used to be um, pretty interested in Tink uh, for a while when I owned the game before. So, um, All that being said, uh, another uh, successful uh, solo Sunday so all that I have less left for the base box solo tyrants are gonna be Gendrix and Duster um, Gendrix I think I can take down Duster is gonna be a trick so if anybody has any strategy suggestions for me to beat Duster solo I would love to hear them I know that uh, gotten a lot of new subscribers over the last few days and I really appreciate everybody at Board Game Geek on the forums for um, uh, subscribing and, and hopefully you're not disappointed. Uh, have a lot of fun playing this game and love to share that enthusiasm with everybody else. Uh, by the way, uh, if you have not picked up too many bones yet, Ship Theory Games website has almost everything in stock right now. So. This would be a fantastic time. If you are not familiar with their business model, they sell direct. They don't go to retailers. They don't, uh, they don't have a middleman. You buy directly from them, which is great because you get a great product for a great price, 
But on the downside is they go for long periods of time without restock sometimes because they've got to come up with the funds to uh, get that new printing. So right now is the time to strike while the iron's hot and pick up your copy of Too Many Bones if you have not yet. Um, so again, this was Justin from Books, Bricks, and Boards. And good gaming and God bless.